want to introduce you to a dear friend of mine, Patrick. I like to call him St. Patrick. And uh, he's uh, been a member of the church here for a number of years. And we had an encounter. We're doing a series called Supernatural Jesus on the uh, healing ministry of Jesus and his church. So maybe you can just share a little bit, Patrick, mm -hmm. about what happened. I remember when Patrick had a skin disease. And I just wanted to tell a little bit about what Jesus did for him. And, it's amazing what Jesus does. And we just want to honor him and just encourage you through his testimony because there's power in our testimony when we testify of what Jesus has done for us. So what you want to just share yeah. what happened, Patrick? Um, about uh, three years ago, I had a very rare uh, skin disease. Um, uh, it's all started as an allergy and uh, allergies are hard to predict uh, um, the cause. So I went through a series of training, a uh, mm -hmm. um, series of uh, treatments, and uh, uh, part of the diagnosis was through the Northwest uh, Asthma and Allergies Center, yes. uh, I think at UW. And they didn't find any reaction to anything. That was uh, a little bit interesting. Uh, but when I went to see a consultant, um, he was a little bit surprised about, uh, uh, he thought it was a tropical disease, uh -huh. which just happens when you change temperatures, maybe you come to the temperate regions, but uh, uh -huh. the treatments he was uh, administering were not yielding to anything. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, um, right about uh, the time, uh, he gave me different types of uh, treatments, starting from the low end dosage uh -huh. to high end dosage, and uh, there was no response. Uh -huh. And uh, I was a member of the church, uh, had gone through the class of membership. So uh -huh. uh, one Sunday, uh, I was here after uh, I think March, and um, this is March of 20. 17 I went up for prayers and um, they actually brought anointing oil mm -hmm. I remember and uh, they put on me and um, we prayed and uh, I said you can go um, uh, I had a revelation around around the same time. I think I was reading the book of, uh, 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 I think it's the book of Isaiah, mm -hmm. and um, where it says, uh, um, by his stripes we are healed. Yes. And I was like, God, uh, truly, because I, I made it a point to look mm -hmm. at every person in the Bible who yes. had such a sickness. <laughs> yes. I remember Naaman, Naaman also, yes. he went to the prophet Elijah, yeah. uh, uh, Elisha, to um, get treated. And uh, interestingly enough, when he was told what to do, he seemed not to think uh -huh. it was going to work. <laughs> and uh, I, I realized um, I'm from a humble Christian upbringing. And I realized uh, maybe I was lost in my faith. I needed to get my uh, my faith stronger. Yes. And um, uh, actually, even in the book of Mark, they say if you are sick, um, you go to church, get the elders to anoint their hands and put yes. them on you, and you shall be healed. So I claimed these scriptures. I kept on praying and. Uh, in fact, I realized something else that is very interesting. Uh, some sicknesses don't just go. You need to fast and pray. Remember, I, I wasn't fasting, I was mm -hmm. just praying. Then I realized, mm -hmm. God, give me the strength. Let me fast, let me fast. And I was shocked. I'm a person who breaks off during my break at mm -hmm. work to yeah. go and eat something uh, yeah. and I found myself fasting. Mm -hmm. I would go in the car, read the Bible, mm -hmm. come back and then I kept on reciting uh, particular verses, especially the ones I've mentioned, 
where people mm -hmm. were healed in the Bible, who had yeah. a strange sickness. And uh, one morning, I took a picture of myself because yeah. I had grown so like disappointed. Yes. I, I, I didn't want to look at myself mm -hmm. in the mirror. It was so disheartening to see you and this face for some reason it's like it depicts the image of God mm -hmm. so it's the face that people see yeah so when people see something wrong with the face they don't want to know what's wrong with the other mm -hmm. body so it was like why God it's only the face yeah. what kind of sickness is this I, I think it occurred to me this is rare this is very rare. In, in, in fact, to be disappointed to look at yourself in a mirror at that mm -hmm. stage and not to even sit with people you have been yeah. working with, I would sit at the lunch table and people would move away. Yeah. I would um, come to work early, do my work and leave. Uh, um, but I realized one thing, when God is working on you, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what people think, yeah. what is around you. Mm -hmm. You had white blotches all over your whole head and your face. Yeah. It was around your whole head, wasn't it? Sure, yeah. And then when we prayed for you that Sunday, I remember when you came back the next Sunday, yeah. I didn't even recognize you. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a difficult time. And you time. said, Pastor, hello, and I said, hello. <laughs> I said, who are you? I said, I'm Patrick. And I go, oh, yeah. Patrick. <laughs> uh, when I say we are made from God's image, when he yeah. remodels you, uh, literally, when they say in the Bible, Naman's skin became yes. like a baby. Yes. It really becomes. Yeah. So you were healed over two years ago. It's yeah. never come back. It's never come back. And you, you and had uh, like white blotches all your, yeah, it, it was around your whole head, right? I, I thought it and, was allergic, you know? Yeah. All the foods now I had uh, even stopped eating, yeah. I eat now and I have no problem. And the doctors whatsoever. could, all they could say is we, they, we don't even know what this is. The doctor looked at me <laughs> when I was here and he was like, amazing, yeah. amazing. I think he was lost so what? I told him, you know, we serve a living God. Yeah. yeah. It's so amazing because Patrick doesn't know what I'm going to speak on on Sunday, but it's about the atonement, about by his stripes who are healed, yeah. and how important it is to be desperate and to be humble. Yeah. And you see what happens when Jesus heals someone. So I just want to encourage you today as we pray for healing. Uh, if Patrick's here, I'm going to ask Patrick to pray for people because I yeah. found when, when God heals people, yeah. amazing things happen through their lives they've received, now they're able to give away what they've received. So we want to encourage you during this year, bring people who are sick, even if the doctor doesn't know what it is. We, I've got good news, Dr. Jesus is here. And we're going to go to Dr. Jesus because he's the great physician. And we hope this testimony really blessed your heart, and I know it blessed uh, my heart. And I, I really love Patrick because I remember when we prayed and what happened when I saw him, I didn't even recognize him the next Sunday when he showed up in church perfectly. Yeah. How long after we prayed did it happen? Um, this is uh, an instant healing instant because healing. yeah, one thing you must realize because of the pain. Yes. I, I used to scratch this face. Yeah. I used to scratch. I remember I used yeah. to make sure all my uh, yeah. fingernails are cut because I could hurt my skin. Uh -huh. And uh, interesting enough, when you don't feel it, yeah. it's like, okay, what happened here? And then you're not scratching, and yeah. then you have, you have that smooth <laughs> slip. <laughs> oh, amazing. And your family, I bet, was very happy. Oh, yeah. yeah. You remember we went up there yes. to give uh, a testimony. Yeah. And, uh, oh, man. <laughs> uh, they were like, God. Yes, God's you know, good. Yeah. Well, so thank you. Good.